day, faith friends. Welcome back to Faith Books We Reflect series. I am Arkele Milus and Malaluan. Some of you may recognize me as a familiar face. Um, it's been a year since I last shared in this series, but because it's a very special day for me, because it's my birthday, I figured why don't I try to reconnect with God in my own way, which I do annually, which is every uh Every year when it's my birthday, I go here in the Facebook Book Reflect series to share my gospel reflection. So, I'll start with this. Ang isang buhay na wala si Jesus ay isang buhay na walang patutunguhan at walang kahulugan. As cliche as it may sound, we all need Jesus in our lives. Some people understand that. Some people accept that. Some people know that, but some people don't. And I am here to help you realize and recognize the importance and the beauty of God's power. Um, katulad ng uh, gospel sa araw na ito, walang tao na kahit anumang dumi ng iyong kalooban, ay hindi mare-recognize ang Diyos. Lahat tayo at at some point in our lives, we will recognize how much we need God and how much He's been there every single time. But we didn't know because we always choose to close our doors on Him. Sabi sa Gospel ngayon, uh, isang salita lang ng Diyos, napalayas agad niya yung demonyo dun sa tao, sa katawan ng tao. That's because ganun kalaki yung authority ni God at yung power na meron siya. Either sa demons man yan o sa masasamang tao. Ganun ka uh, kalaki yung kapangyarihan niya para iligtas tayo sa kung anumang sakuna, o sa kung anumang uh, paghihirap o kapangitan ng buhay na maaaring mangyari sa atin. Um, that's why all I'm asking for you and all I'm trying to say is that let us choose, let us decide to let God in our lives. Let's not close our doors on Him because He will always be there whether we want it or not. He's always there, but we never choose to see it. So let's choose to see it. Let's choose to see His goodness. The beauty of His overflowing love. And that will help us go through life easily. And even when life gets hard, kahit man humirap, magiging matatag tayo. At hindi natin mapapansin yung salita ng pagsuko. I've come to I've had my fair share of moments where I've questioned God's love for me and the power that He holds in my life. But right now, I've realized, la luna, when I read the gospel for today, kahit gano'n man kasama yung puso mo, nandyan ang Diyos at ang kapangyarihan niya ay nag-uumapaw, ang pagmamahal niya ay nag-uumapaw, sapat at more than enough pa para iligtas tayo. So, that's all for today. Um, medyo siguro halo-halo kasi on the spot kong uh, na, 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 na prepare to na para sa inyong lahat. And um, honestly, I really miss, miss doing this. So, again, thank you for Facebook for letting me share again to my mom who's um, videoing me right now taking the video right now pala and um ayun i hope that you again choose to let god in our lives because hindi tayo magsisisi and um i hope you understood what i was trying to say and let's start to be a blessing to each and every one so yun lang po magandang araw